Hey, what's up guys? Sam Frenzy here with uh, another mod showcase. Oh wow, I just broke that block. Whoops. Anyways, today's mod we are looking at is the Elemental Swords mod. Well, it's not just the Elemental Swords mod because there are lots of them. But in this mod, they, there's two tiers for the swords. There's tier 1, which is the worst apparently. Um, tier 2, which is the best. Um, so anyways, I'll be teaching you guys like with the basic materials. Uh, the swords and how to craft them, how to upgrade, and how to craft the blocks. Basically, just like any block. Um, and yeah, and then after we're going to be looking at these swords, and of course there is more to come, because this mod is actually only 25% complete right now. So anyways, let's just look at the basic materials. Now, uh, a blaze ingot can be crafted using 9 blaze powder, just like this, and that will give you an ingot. Aqua stone, um, you can find underwater um, by digging up clay and dirt underwater. And the chances of getting aqua stone is 1 out of 64. Um, same thing with subnium, if you, except if you dig it in coal um, and, it, and the coal is next to stone, then it has a 1 64 chance of getting subnium rock with it. And the air crystal, you you uh, get glass bottles, put them like this, glass like that, and a block of iron in the middle. Now that is the basic materials. Now to craft the tier 1 swords, um, you basically get your two, any material that you're using and then, and then you'll get your sword that you use your material to craft with. Um, so yeah, but you put eye of ender like that, a stick, and then your preferred material to make your preferred sword. So that's how you craft the tier 1 sword. Now to craft a block, basically like how to craft any block, diamond, gold, emerald, um, you basically take um, any material that you want, your preferred material, put it in a, fill up all the spaces um, and you will get your block. So this is important because in order to upgrade um, by using the altar of elements, this is actually a structure and you have to build it. You will need a you'll need um, a sword and a block, but they must come from the same material. These both come from blaze ingot. So if you want to uh, upgrade your water sword to an ocean sword, um, then you'd have to have the aqua stone block and the ocean sword because they come from the same material. And then you'll need 9 obsidian and an enchantment table. So let's just take these. And by the way, this is a tier 1 sword. And we're going to be upgrading it to a tier 2 sword. So now what you're going to do is you're going to place down your obsidian like this. Um, you're going to take your... Oh, actually, no. One more. Actually, sorry. Oh, wait, that means you need 10. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot. Uh, but then you put your your block, your preferred block, like this. Whoops. Like that. So this is what we have so far. Now you put your enchantment table on top like that. You get your tier 1 sword and you left click on the enchantment table. This explosion should happen and now I have the lava sword. So anyways, let's just take a look at the tier 1 swords. Now Let's just grab these swords, and we should take a look at them. So now, the fire sword. The fire sword, when right-clicked, it will create a huge ring of fire. It will give you fire resistance, and it will uh, set the person on fire if they're hit for 10 seconds. Alright, now, for the water sword, it will give you an infinite... Um, an infinite uh, water supply, which is basically aqua infinity. Um, I, I I'm going to show you. So let's just actually, yeah, I'll show you. I have a full supply, uh, or I have aqua infinity. Let's just go back to game mode one. Um, so yeah, and then when you right click it, it will shoot a ray of water which will deal 1 heart to enemies on land and 3.5 hearts in water. And if it gets hit, it will give them the weakness effect for 5 seconds. Now, for the Earth Sword, uh, the Earth Sword will give you resistance. Um, 
then it will shoot um a yeah it will shoot a expanding wave of explosions and one uh once it, it touches the waves of explosion an actual explosion which is the explosion that damages them at their location um and now lastly for the tier one sword uh which is the wind sword uh the wind sword will give you no fall damage so you take no fall damage whatsoever um it will create an expanding cloud and will launch enemies in the air so let's just demonstrate this for one second and there you go and the thing that the, the thing that makes them get hurt is that they get launched in the air but you, you also have to remember that they take fall damage as well so it's pretty cool actually uh it's a lot of fun all right anyways that is it for the tier one swords let's just put that back inside the chest and now moving on to the um the tier two swords now the lava sword first of all will give you fire resistance just like the fire sword it will shoot a ray of fire and will set terrain on and entities on fire um, and will deal five five hearts per second um, and it, if it hits the enemy, uh, the enemy will get set on fire for 20 seconds. So, now that is it for the Lava Sword. Moving on to the Ocean, to the ocean Sword. Um, this will give you speed and night vision underwater. Um, and Aqua Infinity. So, I'll just demonstrate that. Um, you can move faster. Basically, like, moving on land, almost. There you go. I could also see underwater. Well, oh, well, it's kind of weird actually. But um, anyways, uh, let me just get back into the game of one. It will deal two hearts of damage. Oh, actually, wait. It got, it shoots a ray of it shoots a ray of water just like the water sword. Um, the ocean sword will deal two damage to enemies on land and six hearts to enemies on water. And if they get hit, it will give them a weakness effect. For for five seconds, just like the water sword. Moving on to the jungle sword. The jungle sword will give you resistance too. So that's a, that's better than the um, the air sword. And when right clicked, it will. Um, you'll see that there's these this rotating uh, this rotating thing of explosions, which deals three hearts and. If if they get near the uh, the rotating explosion, um, then they will it will create an actual explosion near them, which will deal three damage. Um, so now, last of all, for all these swords for this mod is the uh, what do they call it again? The storm sword. Okay, now the storm sword will give you no fall damage, just like the wind sword, but it will also give you jumping, doesn't say that, but you can jump higher. Yeah, and it gives you slower falling. That's why I'm falling so slowly. But yeah, it gives you higher jumping. As you can see, I'm able to jump onto this block when normally I wouldn't be able to. And you fall slower. So that is quite cool. It's kind of like a chicken, almost. And when I clicked, it will basically summon a cloud which will launch enemies into the air so let me just demonstrate this on this poor sheep here in the air okay here let me show that again I don't think you saw that what okay wait uh oh well okay anyways yeah it got launched into the air and it died so um Anyways, again, for this mod, there are still more swords to come, hopefully, and this guy will keep on continuing his mod, because um, it's a very cool mod, very uh, unique. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's mod showcase. If you enjoyed this mod showcase, please remember to subscribe and like, and once again, guys, stay frenzy.